Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's meteorologist Eric Zarnitz. Well, we have plenty of storms well down to our south, but for us this week, it actually looks pretty quiet here in the tri-state. So if you like sunshine and abnormally cool weather, you're going to like the next couple of days. And if you like warmer weather, you're going to love next weekend. Take a look at these temperatures. Currently 59 degrees Cincinnati, 60 degrees in Warsaw, 63 in Brookville, 56 in Hillsborough, and 59 degrees in Hamilton. Everybody at least on the comfortable side, and of course, all that sunshine helps. You can start to see a few fair weather clouds building in. We do of a couple of clouds up around southeastern Indiana and out towards, well, Butler, Warren, and even Clinton counties, and all that's going to gradually trek southward here. Winds are out of the north at 12 miles an hour. The humidity and the dew point are fairly low, and that means if you're heading out this evening as the sun sets, it's going to get cool pretty quick. So grab a jacket. Temperatures will be in the 40s by about 9 or 10 o'clock, and then we're going to see the upper 30s by tomorrow morning. WLWT radar, as you'd expect, not really tracking all that much. Maybe an isolated shower out there in Indiana. But those clouds I was telling you about right here, you can see most of them up around Franklin County, extending over towards Indianapolis and Lafayette. So as we continue on through the evening, we'll see a few more clouds here and there. Again, not a big deal, but it may help to cool things off just a little bit faster. Down to our south, this is what's left of those showers and thunderstorms we saw last night. That is all moving south. Believe it or not, our weather is actually coming from the east. This system is what we call retrograding. It's moving west, sort of an odd direction, but that means tomorrow we're going to see these clouds pretty much circulate down from the north, giving us a cloudy afternoon, but at least we're going to see a nice sunny start. So your hour by hour forecast on Monday looks like this. Temperatures in the upper 30s and lower 40s, a good deal of sunshine to start the day. By the afternoon, clouds build in, calling for a high of 59 degrees, and then tomorrow evening the same story. Temperatures gradually dropping through the 50s into the 40s under partly cloudy to mostly clearing skies. Futurecast showing tonight, not too much to talk about. Those clouds starting to build in from the north, but I still think we see quite a bit of sunshine to start the day. By the afternoon, more cloud cover, maybe even an isolated shower generally for our eastern counties. So Adams County, Highland County, Clinton County, I'm talking about you. Maybe a shower. Most of us won't even see that. As we head into Tuesday, a mix of clouds and sun, but temperatures do start to rebound and will get even nicer as we head into the latter half of the week. So your forecast tonight, 38 degrees chilly, maybe, just maybe a little bit of patchy frost in some of the outlying communities, but again, not a real big deal. Tomorrow afternoon, a high of 59 degrees, morning sunshine, afternoon cloud cover, and your seven-day forecast shows the first half of the week below average, usually our high 68, 69 degrees this time of year, but as we head towards Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, highs in the mid-60s, even some 70s, possibly getting close to 80 degrees by early next week. We'll have to watch that, but yeah, a nice mild, quiet.